Children with autism have difficulty processing and expressing their emotions, which can lead to high levels of anxiety, particularly in the school environment. I'm here today to meet with Amber, who has been diagnosed with autism, to find out how the McKillop Family Services Poor Powers Program is helping get her back into the classroom. Amber, how has the Poor Powers Program been supporting you? So, I usually have a very hard time at school. I find a classroom environment very stressful because mm. it's all loud and crowded. But having a dog supporting me by my side makes everything a lot easier to cope with. And dogs have something very special about uh -huh. them. They just have a calming energy and it really helps me be able to do my work. Um. It makes my life a lot more stress-free. So, outside of the classroom, how has the program been helping you? Outside the classroom, we have been going on walks, sometimes to cafes, dog parks, because I find being outside nature really calming to me. And we also do some basic activities that help me work out ways to keep myself calm, because of course the dogs can't always be with me. No. So, but sometimes I can find it hard to actually talk about things like my emotions and figure out how to calm myself down, but dogs <laughs> being there makes it very easy to talk about it in the first place. So why do you think the Paul Powers program is such an effective service compared to some of the other things you've tried? Well, humans can be quite stubborn and <laughs> <laughs> I feel like dogs, they're a lot less judgmental and yeah. they don't argue with you. They can just <laughs> give you the help that you need without making such a big fuss out of it. <laughs> well said, I think I agree with that as well. And <laughs> dogs are very beneficial in therapy and I guess a lot of other kids who also work with Poor Pals stay very calm and make everyone's life a lot easier. Oh, beautiful. They make everyone's life easier in general, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> if you would like to find out more about the Poor Pals program, then do visit their website and the wonderful news is the Petspiration Foundation has donated $100,000 this year to help expand the program wow. into Ballarat. I know it's wonderful. So if you'd like to find out more about the Poor Pals program, visit their website. And to learn more about the Perspiration Foundation, visit theirs. Thank you, Amber. Thank you. We've lost Thank Lucy you. just in time. <laughs>